good morning today we are going to have an interaction with how group discussion plays an important role in campus placements usually organizations want to know how well the candidates will fit into the workplace they are going to work gd acts as a tool to assess how you work being a part of team people of the team have to work together and have to get best results out of teamwork gd also checks on your interact interactive skills and how good you are at communicating with others gd checks how you behave participate and contribute in a group how well do you listen to the viewpoints of others and how open minded are you in accepting views contrary to your own so let's see what is group discussion group discussion is a methodology used by an organization to gauge your personality traits my dear students so if you wanted to participate in a gd you need to consider 15 to 20 minutes of your time and this is where the in the facilitator will be facilitating over the discussion so we'll just have a look at how many types of gds are there so uh, there would be actually gds are classified according to the topics so first if you can look into knowledge intensive topics are there as well as non knowledge intensive topics are also there when it comes to knowledge intensive topics it includes economic topics social topics political topics so and so on so if you if you wanted to know what are economic topics let's take an example now liberalization is leading to jobless growth so this can be a economic topic and when it comes to social topics dowry continues to haunt indian brides as a social topic we can consider for example and uh, coming to political topics reservation issue is just to get a vote bank so we have the other category and that is non knowledge intensive topics so here it includes concrete topics as well as abstract topics so in concrete topics you can take for example greed is good is a as a concrete topic but when you take an abstract topic deep blue is not blue enough so this is all about types of gds and we'll just have a look at what are the do's and don'ts of a gd just give me a minute time so that i can change the slide for you so there are uh, here are the do's so if you can look at the do's what you are supposed to do when you wanted to participate in a group discussion listen to others other participants and uh, when you are speaking in a group discussion you should be very polite and pleasant to the group and you should also maintain eye contact with the group and then you, are, you should give others time to speak and then you should remember that the discussion is not any more an argument and you keep your points potential disagreements very very polite agree with and acknowledge what you find interesting and you, you can take an example now i uh, like how do you uh, keep your point potential points very polite we'll take an example of this because most of us uh, might have doubts regarding how to speak so i recognize your valid point however i don't agree this is how you can give a polite disagreement or there is one more uh, sentence i would like to help you out with i am very sorry but i disagree with you so these are some of the uh, do's of group discussions and remember one more very important uh, important point to be noted is you need to dress very professionally to see that you are very serious about uh, how serious you are about uh, participating in this group discussion and coming to the don'ts of the gd let's have a, a uh, let's have a small overview of it most of the people have a very bad habit that is they talk too much 
they they are over spoken not even out spoken they are over spoken so avoid the uh, over spoken in a in a group discussion and see that uh, you do not lose your temper most of us are very short tempered they are very aggressive so when people say that uh, um, one point against what you wanted to communicate they simply uh, become very aggressive and they lose the temper so remember that uh, gd is no more a, an argument it is a discussion and coming to the other point you should not use too many gestures there are uh, so many people who use excessive body gestures so when you give excessive body gestures it gives a negative impression to the other people that you are not appropriate and uh, because you know the language most of us try to dominate others in the discussion you need to be confident that is not wrong but at the same time you need to give uh, passive listeners a chance to contribute some part of the discussion and uh, very important and uh, uh, very important and interesting point of don't say is that most of us get into very personal when we are speaking and we relate some of our uh, personal stories so when you are speaking in a group you should never uh, uh, personalize uh, to uh, your information to the group so you need to see that you are not going to draw any of your personal experiences or anecdotes to the group and one more important point is most of us have this habit we just uh, interfere when somebody is speaking which is absolutely a, a very bad habit of ours so it is very important to notice that we don't interrupt when somebody is speaking let let them complete let them finish what they wanted to speak and then you want uh, you can speak what you wanted to speak after them these are some of the don'ts of gd and now we will see how to face a group discussion so if you wanted to face a group discussion very important skill you need is your communication skill because we express only through language and we are in a global competitive world so definitely your global language plays an important role here and coming to the next point you should be very very good at your key uh, at your core knowledge and ideas and what you wanted to talk in the discussion and if you wanted to become a very good team lead you need to know how to coordinate the discussion take up the responsibility and see if the discussion goes very balanced you also need to be very efficient to exchange your thoughts appropriately and you should also remember that you are not addressing one single individual here but you are addressing the whole of the group and for that you need thorough preparation and you need to also have good coordination with each other in the team and the next point if you can see in the next slide how to summarize the gd so before we summarize means when the when the facilitator is facilitating over the discussion the last one or two minutes will be given for conclusion so when you wanted to summarize what are the tips you need to follow avoid raising new points you already discussed so many so you should not raise any other new point so that this discussion gets elaborated so you should not raise a new point here and then avoid stating only your view point because there will be it is a summary of the complete group or the idea of the complete group and you cannot summarize only your view point and you also need to keep your gd brief and concise you need to when you are summarizing it's an important point when you summarizing you need to incorporate all the important points which you have discussed in your group discussion during the summary of the gd and it is if the examiner asks you to summarize the gd it means it has come to an end so it is understood that you are not no more uh, supposed to extend on the gd and go on with the gd so do not add anything once again once it has been summarized 
see, I've seen uh, most of these children, they come up with individual conclusions, like they start stating that according to me, as per my opinion. It is not that. When we'll have to conclude, it is a, it is opinion of the group and not opinion of an individual. So it has to be, it has to be concluded like this. Let's conclude. So this has to be the uh, concluding part of the GD. So this is how we are supposed to summarize a group discussion. And thank you, all of you. And if you have any queries about uh, group discussions, let us discuss in person. Thank you, one and all.